Hey, what's going on guys? It's Starry here, and I'm just making a quick guide on how to form up some Noctilucus Jade. And that's only because of Yanfei. So first off, go south of Wuwang Hill at that teleport point and immediately just turn around. You're gonna see some Violet Grass and pick them up if you want. That's for Chi Chi. She definitely needs a lot of that. And you're gonna see some Hilly Chos over here. And you're gonna be able to pick up some Core Lapis and some Noctilucus Jade. So just pick up everything you can, alright? The amount you can pick up from each of these little deposits is 1 to 3, so make sure you get lucky. <laughs> okay, so now that we're done farming over here, let's head on over to the Bashui Plains, and you're going to see that my Ley Lion deposit is over there. So head over there, and it'll be a quick little swim. Make sure you got enough stamina for it, because I don't want you to drown on the way there. If you got a nice character, it makes it easier, but it's not necessary because look how look how close it is. Not even that far. By the way, Claymore users make farming so much easier, and if you want to make it even easier than that, you can pull out a clear if you have her, since she has bombs. And then there's also Zhang Li. Whenever you hold his E, makes it insanely fast. Also, doing some plunge attacks makes it quicker, as well as what I've noticed around farming. Now after we're done collecting here, we're going to head on over to the Cheonji Estate, south of where we currently are, and we're going to head over to a small cave, alright? And inside the cave, there's going to be some one heli churl and I think three geo slimes. so make sure you kill them and you're just going to see how I handle it because I was not having it in there today. Okay, so now that we're done here, we're going to head over to the Statue of the Seven, which is also south of us. And there's two ways you can go about this. I'm going to show you heading southward first, and then I think we're going to head on to the Domain. By the way, this is like a very simple farming route. Like, you don't even have to put markers where you're heading, because it's just like, you can just memorize it. Alright, so once you see this, you can just slam down and you'll be good to go. And there's about two deposits here, I'm pretty sure. My RNG is complete crap today, I'm only getting one each time it looks like. Like I mentioned earlier, the next one is interchangeable. You can either head to the Hidden Palace of Lianshan Formula or head towards Mingyun Village. But I just went over here because it was closer to be honest. Doesn't really matter. There's going to be one Geo Slime, like a big one by the way, so you can either just ignore it or kill it while you're fighting, or while you're mining I mean. Don't forget to pick up those Geo Butterflies or Crystal Flies, whatever they're called. Man, having many makes this game so much easier. And if, if you don't have him in the sh if you don't have him, he's in the shop right now. Make sure you get him. Hopefully, you already have a dupe so you can get him to C1 with this. So, really great character to have, in my opinion. One of the best in the game. Alright, so now that we're done farming here, let's just head on back to Mingyun Village where the Statue of the Seven is and head north this time. And you're gonna see all you gotta do is just jump pretty much into the lake. You're gonna see like a small little cave inside. For Right next to it, I should say. Okay, so once you're done inside this little cave, you can literally just swim along forward and you're gonna 
follow this little path I'm taking and you know you're there once you see like a a mitre trail, I'm pretty sure is what they're called. And you're gonna see like an explosive bro, you can just pop that if you want, but it's not gonna destroy the thing entirely. Oh, totally up to you. I just did it because my elemental burst ended up doing it for me. Alright, so now that we're done here, we're gonna head on over to Mount Tianheng, and that is west of where we currently are, um, southwest actually. And once you spawn in, immediately turn around, do not jump off, there's no need for that, nothing in that direction. You see that big tree trunk? We're gonna head over there, and there's gonna be a couple of elite trolls and a dendro one. I recommend you just get rid of the all of them first, but I didn't do it because this is how I normally do it, like this has become like just a regular routine for me whenever I farm this. So yeah, that's why you're gonna see me struggle to get inside and even get hit a little bit. But I'll take the lumps and just go get my Noctil Lucas Jade. By the way, inside this room, there's only five that you can break, so don't go around thinking that there's more than five. Trust me, you're gonna spend a couple of minutes looking around. I did that a while ago, so you guys don't have to. We're heading even further southwest this time, and we're heading to the Qixing Pool, so once you spawn in, immediately just head on forward. You're gonna see it. Just don't know to see your left, and you'll see it for sure. And we're just gonna go straight forward and glide in there. Nothing too dangerous. There's gonna be like a... A Mitre Trail and some... I think it's like a Heli Trail that does Dendro again, or a Best Mage, I don't remember, but... Honestly, you don't even gotta deal with them, you just gotta break a boulder and you're inside with the... The deposits, it'll be fine. I'm even going to give you guys my honorable mention of a place where you can head because it also does give a good amount of deposits for other resources, so that's only if you're really down bad for Nocturne Lucas Jade, so let me just put that in the end here. Alright, so for our honorable mention, we just gotta head to the Guyun Domain, and once you spawn in, you're just gonna turn left, and you're gonna head over to this little island over here, and you can either swim across if you got the stamina, or use some ice to make it easier. I just did the ice because I was kind of fun at the moment. And you're gonna see that little Geo Bishop doing his own little thing over there, there's a little Star Conch. Get rid of him, and you already saw the Nocturne Lucas Jade earlier. And there's only one over here, that's the only reason why this is an honorable mention, because if there's not that many, I wouldn't want to put it in the video. But this is an extra 1 to 3 depending on how lucky you are. And there are some extra deposits if you want to farm those also. Well guys, I do appreciate you all watching the video. And I hope this helped you max out your Yanfei or any other character who needs it. Because I know it's going to help on mine. This is Star, your first class. Signing out. Thank you. <laughs>